Buongiorno, amigos. It's Connor. I mean, of course, I mean, look below. It says Connor Chaos. That's me. And welcome to Applaud the Mod, the video series that takes a look at some of the best modifications for the PC gaming platform. Whew, quite a mouthful. And uh, here's another one. The modification we are taking a look at today is for Mass Effect 1. And it goes by the name of Mass Effect 1 Updated Improved Textures Modification. Or if you're cool, Mass Effect Updated Improved Textures Mod. Or if you want a, you know, a challenge, me, you, it, um, my, me, me, uh, that thing, okay? Why would you even create an abbreviation, an abbreviation around that? It's horrible and it's impossible to pronounce. Right, so I was just down here talking to Elgaris, you know, because, you know, best character apart from Thane in the entire Mass Effect universe. Rax, Grunt, pretty much every character in the game, apart from that, you know, one reporter, is incredibly interesting. Uh, Ashley Williams, she can go suck, you know, actually she doesn't deserve to suck a dick. She can go and die in the most horrible way possible. I hate you, Ashley. I hate you. And I think everybody else does too. So what this modification does, it, the guy, I forget his name, I feel horrible, but I've been trying to record this for the past hour. And I keep getting interrupted, you know, disturbed. Uh, so I'm trying it once again. So the mod the modder for this has retextured, created brand new textures, added textures, repainted already existing models in the game, redone models, added vastly more details. Uh, he has also added more textures. So you know this guy's pretty much done his homework here, and he's done a lot of fucking work after that. Uh, created new bump maps and added already existing bump maps and he has rebuilt entire maps Right, so if you just take a look even at the Normandy interior here the bridge It looks far better than it did in Mass Effect 1 and in a moment. I'm going to land possibly if I can find a planet to land on and You know show you the textures because you know rocks guys you know, like, you know, rocky formations in the ground. Never that good looking, especially in a Mass Effect game. But holy shit, the rocks in this game look glorious. I found myself last night, you know, replaying the game because it's an amazing game. Apart from the obvious, you know, failures of the third one. But the third was actually pretty good overall until you got to the last 30 minutes. Uh, it makes for replaying this game. And I believe there's also... A version for the second game which updates the textures and models it makes it look so much better and i believe the lady of my life is around here somewhere where is she oh you know who i'm talking about that silky smooth blue skin oh my god liara right here we'll have a little bit of a conversation here i mean i've already talked to her of course i get the feeling you want to ask me something commander uh Right, I'm going to put a comparison up now. Or, you know what, I'll actually do it through the, you know, level up screen. Because you can get a better look at each of the characters' faces. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? I should go. Yeah, exactly. Goodbye, I'll be back later, my sweet. Right, so let's go into the character customization screen here. Or the, well, it's just where you assign your points and stuff, uh, wrong key. Right, there we go, there's Shepard, right? Now, right here, you know where it shows you all your different talents, I'm going to put up what he actually looks like in the vanilla Mass Effect 1. He, do, he, he doesn't look like he's doing too well, does he? This modification, and I've checked, makes it look so much better than Mass Effect 3. And when you're going back like I am and replaying the three games, it does make for... It just makes the whole experience more enjoyable. And I wish I could explain to you more about what actually has been put into this. But, you know, I, I just know in layman's terms. Because, you know, I'm not a game designer. I know very basic stuff, you know. But I really want to show you these rocks. So let's go here. Where, where are we here? There we go. Get onto the island map here. And we just saved Liara to Sony. So we'll come land here again. Oh, we can't. God damn it. Just want to find somewhere I can land just to show you the rocks. And yes, I'm just going to go out of my way to show you rocks. 
And if I can, possibly should we get Garrus as well? Because, oh my god, Garrus is like the best character ever. Uh, there we go, on our way. Let's hope there's a planet that... Oh, here we go, yep. Perfect. Timing. Yeah, but that's double. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. Mm -hmm. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge on the Presidium. No, boss. So you know what? We're actually just going to go to the Citadel. There might be a rock or two I can show you there. Rocks are awesome. And they look so freaking beautiful. We've just got like a sheen and the amount of detail in them is just crazy. But at this point, I just want to go to the Citadel, pick a party, and then show you... I improved the actual textures on the skins have been redone. Let's uh, land here in the old citadel. There we go. Now he does have a list of everything that he has updated in the game. The majority of which are just textures and places you're going to be visiting more frequently. As well as just every rock in the game pretty much. Now some enemies like the Geth. You notice that they look pretty bad. I, don't, I haven't seen anywhere that says they've been updated. So, you know, he's only put down what he has updated, which is all characters you'll come across, apart from Gath. I mean, armor as well. The armor, the N7 armor that you wear, the basic stuff, is pretty good. But once I get out here, you'll see the green heavy armor I'm wearing. It just doesn't look any different than it did in the vanilla game. So let's just get out of here. Right, we'll take Garrus and we'll take Rex. I think they're two of the characters that look really good. Tally, she looks better. Uh, Liara, she looks a lot better. Caden, she looks, he looks a lot better. Ashley, she can go fuck herself. Let's go. Rex and Garrus are my two main buddies. With Thank you, Normandy Six. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. There's Rear Admiral Mikhailovich. But first, let's take a look at Garrus. I think he looks the best. Just look at the detail on his skin there. You know, uh, it's he looks battle-hardened. There's just a lot of detail. I'm not really sure what you would call his skin. Would it be scales? Uh, not really sure. But here's a comparison to what he looked like in Vanilla Mass Effect 1. He looks a lot better, doesn't he? He looks hell of a lot better in... The, with this modification. Here's Rex. Oh, how could you hate a face like that? Look at him. Fucking sublimely beautiful. Look at him. Gorgeous. Let's take a look at how he actually looked in Mass Effect 1 Vanilla. Yeah. Right, okay. There we go. Now, like, just... Oh. Oh, I suppose this is a good point and time to show you that just every other model in the game, like humans, uh, every, like the Krogan, everything has been updated apart from the Geth. I mean, I haven't gotten close enough to see the Geth, but in a cinematic type thing, I saw the Geth and it didn't look all that good. Right, this is a rear our admiral. Let's give him an out salute there. Commander Shepard. You can see that the green, green armor doesn't look the best. The 63rd Scout Flotilla uh -huh. here in the Normandy was slated for my unit after shakedown. When the council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever, they got them. Even the rear admiral's uniform looks a hot a lot more HD than it did. Uh Captain Anderson made it clear to me that my assignment came from way up in the brass. They say jump, I say how high. Remember that when I tell you to jump. I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. This ship saved our lives a dozen times over. An exaggeration. I've read your reports. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy... I mean, it may make them look better, but it doesn't make this guy less of a dick, obviously. Money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. Normandy is an Alliance warship, but she's on loan to the Citadel. That means she's not in your chain of command. I believe there's something wrong with my ears. Did you just contradict me? 
Damn right I did. Ship is council property right now. So respectfully, please clear the gangway. Have it your way, Commander. But expect me to file a report on this. Nerd! You write your reports while I'm busy saving the entire galaxy, mate. See who comes out on top. Now there is the filter thing. Let me just see if I can show you it here. I can't remember the name of it. Graphics. The film green, yes, it has been updated, but I find that it is making the game quite unstable and it stutters quite a bit. Loss in frames. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Is he finished? Oh, okay. There's only so much you can see from a video. I mean, so much has been updated that you'd need to play through the entire game yourself to even see the amount of work and effort that has went into me, me, at, me, at, me at, Mass Effect updated improved textures mod just to experience it and enjoy it and oh shit you guys are in for a treat look who it is standing right there with her fucking weed drone thing let's have a conversation here commander shepherd talisa bin seen in aljilani western renew would you answer a few questions for our viewers what sort of questions people back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you commander i can give you the chance to set the record straight what do you say let's mm, answer your questions You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Lots of explosions. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human Spectre? The Spectres represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? Uh, you know what, she's just gonna change and bend the story to suit her will. I mean, if you played the games, you know what she's like. So, fuck her. I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? I've had enough of your snide insinuations. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> uh. I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Your career is over. No, no, it isn't. I've still got two games to go, love. So, there we have it guys, I mean, the, the best way to experience this mod is to check it out. You can get it in the description below, I'll provide a link to the website that offers it. Uh, I think it's on the mod DB site as well. But thanks very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and like if you want to, if you don't want to, then fucking do it anyway. And I will of course, like always, see you next time. Bye bye.